when she be getting a child why give me a reason for the child to become the slave of this man and he continues saying flog her according to the version of al hasan the version of abi abu uh, 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 abu sari has you people flog her or said inflict hard punishment on him him which means the child what is that what the child have to do with all of this what is the crime of the child the child he is born now as a slave he is born as a slave so what the slave did what i mean what the child did do you think is justice even even he is not a son of a slave this little baby he is not even a son of a slave he is me he is a creating slavery now i and i, I want to ask any muslim he have the courage to say that this is fair imagine every woman in the west today her son if she is having a son from adultery her son is going to be a slave what do you think about this justice not because she is a slave no 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 just because she have a son from adultery what kind of justice this is satanic justice like if he is saying okay because the mother she is a slave the son will be a slave i would say okay well eh, because she is still a slave you know he's the, the baby coming from a slave but in here we are talking about a free woman she get uh, married from a free man the baby will be a slave because of what what is a crime what he did to this life where is justice follow with me with more videos exposing muhammad and his hate and don't forget the quran says clearly that allah he hate those who they are black because he will make all the white one muslims all the muslims will turn white and all the black they are the infidels what a shame see you soon in debate tv every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time in dbtv.org or muhammadtube.com or dbtv.net. Thank you. Sudanese government and Janjaweed, the Arab Muslims on one side and the Muslims of Darfur, the Darfur Liberation Army on the other side. You see, since the clashes started in 2003, four 450,000 Muslims were brutally killed by these Arab Muslims. 450,000 people. Thousands and thousands of Muslim black women were brutally raped. And thousands and thousands of children who saw these massacre, these violence, they are still living with the psychological scars. You see the point is both killers and the killed are both Muslims here. The Arab Muslims on one side and the black Muslims on the other side. So just one more truth, just get off that false myth. You see the people in West are taking these false ideas, Islam, peaceful religion. But look at the world my friend. 450,000 people in the last three years, 2.5 million people were internally and externally displaced, women are getting raped and it is genocide folks. In West African nations you read the history of slavery, the people who were boarding the slave ships were Arab Muslims and it has been 200 years that Britain the Christian nation abolished slavery. It has been more than 160 years that United States abolished slavery. But just recently, 1962, Saudi Arabia abolished slavery. So who dealt with the slavery first time? Who dealt with segregation first time? And who dealt with the violence first time? Christianity folks, Martin Luther King Jr. Douglas, Frederick Douglas, 
Harriet Tubman. All these people, they applied to Christian principles of liberty and fought against racism. And the black people in America who are Christians, they have more freedom than black Muslims in Africa. That is true. And there is racism in Christianity, but... Yes, yes, in fact, in fact, Christ has kept Muslims to this day are enslaving black people in Africa. It, it was Muslims are the reason why we blacks are here in America today. Everyone, Not because of what Christians, white people did to us. Weren't those slave traders white Muslims. men from, from Europe? No, they were Muslims. Arab slave blacks traders. and Muslims. The slave trade was going on long before white people, Christians or Jews even showed up. In fact, from 700 AD, from what I can research, go, 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 go Google stuff up. 18 million, 18 million blacks were taken out of Africa into the eastern parts of Arabia, East, and so forth and so on. 18 million, where as the whites and Christians bought about 13 million from the black and uh, Muslim slave traders in the continent, the West, the West African slave trade. And, and, but you never hear about that. You never hear that part. All you hear is what whites, Christians, and Jews did. The fault of white Christians and Jews is that they all disobeyed the Torah. And for the love of money to make profit, they abandoned what they had forsaken in Europe and took on the curse of Africa by buying slaves. But they did not capture it. In fact, um, Henry Louis Gates has a new book. And apparently he is saying, something I've been saying, that over 90% of the slave trade in West Africa was black people and Muslims, not white people, only 10%. And it, so, 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 you don't hear that kind of talk, but it's going to have to come out now with all this media information sharing. Everybody now can look in everybody's backyard. We can no longer hide the fact that Muslims are the primary reason why West Africans are in the United States. Became slaves. Became slaves. And not in the United States, but in Mexico, Central America, South America. 94% of the slave trade of, that the Muslims sold went into Mexico, Central America, and South America. Only 6% of the Muslim slave trade came into North America, which then the white Christians and Jews fought each other over this issue. This country, America, the United States did not start slavery. That's a misnomer. Yeah. The, the United States inherited the slavery from the British in 1776. The British did not start it. They bought it. Right. From Africa, right. with the Muslims. But we, we, but the, the Confederacy did enslave black slaves. No, they, they, Where they I, held I, slaves. They, they kept, they kept it. slaves. They kept slaves, and that's what led to the Great War, yeah. the War of All Wars. Frankly, when you think about it, that 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 war is is the very war that was the pivotal war as to what civility society was going to be like throughout the world from now on. That is the high water mark of humanity. Are you concerned about uh, blacks joining the Nation of Islam, for example, in the inner city? Yeah, I'm concerned because that's like going right back into slavery. <laughs> but, but, but look, when you think about it, black people went back into the Democratic Party, too. <laughs> it was the Democratic Party held as a slave. the Democratic Party who uh, put the Jim Crow racist laws upon us that has destroyed us for generations yet to come. So we stupidly went back to them. So it would surprise me if blacks went into Islam. But however, I don't think they will. I think they're going to wake up. We didn't have this faith in Africa. We gleaned it. God gave it to us. And it's freed us. We have no legacy with Islam other than slavery. That's the only legacy we know in Islam is slavery. We know, no, we know freedom. He said, whoever wants to see Satan, let him look, take a look at Naphtali B. al -Hurth. He was a sturdy black man with long flowing hair and flamed eyes and dark reddy cheeks. He used to come and talk to the apostle and listen to him, and then carry what he had said to the hypocrites. It was he who said, quote, Muhammad is all ears. If anyone tells him anything, he believes it. God sent down concerning him, quote, and of them are those who annoy the prophet and say he is all ears, say, good ears for, for you. He believes in God and trusts the believers and, and, a, and, a, and is a mercy for those of you who believe, and those who annoy the apostle of God, for them there is a painful punishment, end quote. So, if you take just the, the sentence, if you want to see Satan, look, look, at, look at this man who happens to be black, then of course you're going to think, 
okay, uh, Muhammad is racist. But if you actually read in the context, which is a statement that I think people need to learn what that means, um, because or else we're in a lot of trouble here, it, this man was not condemned because of his skin color. The biographer Ibn Ishik is giving us a description so we can visualize who this person is, because if you just said so-and-so, then we're going to sit here and go, well, okay, who is that? What did he look like? Things of that nature. But instead, Ibn Ishik tells us what he looks like. He happens to be an African. And, but the important thing is not because of his skin color, it's because he is betraying the Muslims to the hypocrites. As I just... We were listening to this smart gentleman. Actually, he's amazing how smart he is. And always I'm surprised with the... I don't know, like when you are a Muslim, honestly, it, it looked like, you know, Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom in your heart, the same he did to Muhammad. You remember there's a story in the Quran about Allah installing a dish made of gold, of gold, full of wisdom in the heart of Muhammad, which makes sense because I saw some places you can order dishes of wisdom. Now, I don't know from where really he got his dish of wisdom, but for sure his dish is very delicious. Now, he said that what the Prophet said about Satan is going to be look like an African, like a black man. He's saying it happened to be Israel. It doesn't mean anything. Come on, it happened. This makes sense. But, and he said, to make things more funny, that uh, he is telling us that he is a black so we can recognize him. This is very smart of you, man. I, honestly, I like it. So, this is mean that Satan always going to be black. Because you just said to recognize him. So, if a white man came to me, for sure he is no Satan. And you just proved to me that Muhammad saying to us that black and Satan, they are together forever. Satan cannot be a, a white man. Satan always is going to be a black guy because you just told us how to recognize him. So Muhammad, he said clearly that Satan is going to be an African, is going to be black, as you said, and it's a way to recognize him. And this is proving to me that any time Satan will come to me, he will come only as a black. He can't be white. Now the question here, who is the one made him black? You said it happened? What, are, are you an atheist? What do you mean it happened? According to Islam, it's everything is done by Allah. It is decision of Allah to make him black always then, right? Which means Allah is the one he's saying to us, because he is bad, I made him black. And then you will say to me, oh, come on, don't play with words. This is how it is. Otherwise, why Satan cannot be a white man? Why he have to be a black man? And you know what? I have a video for you made by one of your brothers he is extremely smart like you muslims they have dish of wisdoms in their hearts stored by allah order in from hong kong he's shown us that allah will send genies bad genies which means they are satan to you as a black cat black dog black snake black bird blah, 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 black now don't tell me it happened simply it did not happen to be it made to be by Allah because Allah is saying clearly that the black one is your enemy. This is why your prophet he ordered to kill the black dogs, the black cats, the black birds. Anything is 100% black, kill him according to your prophet. And this is proving to me that Muhammad hated black people. And this is really a shame. Follow with me, watch this video. And <laughs> Today's topic, Jinn, Prophet Wasallam, and they wanted him to read them some Quran, and there are bad Jinns, and yes, they really do exist. Today, people are talking about how they see Jinns, how they deal with Jinns, how they write books with Jinns, how they write songs with Jinns. There's a big fat lie Muhammad is saying in here, that he caught a genie. And he was going to tie him to the column of the house or the mosque. But he did let him go. He did wanted to tie him to the column just to show others about the genie. He wanted, he wanted to show them the genie. But you know what? 
just before you came I released him this is a big fat lie and this is a proof that Muhammad is a liar because you know what isn't it you who caught him for the first time nobody ever saw a genie and we should see that genie why you released him but he said I remember what uh, my brother Solomon he said mm -hmm. so so first of all in here we saw the proof that Muhammad he saw genie and not only that the Prophet he said that you have to say the name of Allah before you have intercourse with, and we will see who are they the bad genie mm -hmm. they see a genie they do come in different types of forms but you will never see the original form of a jinn. what kind of forms? black cats <coughs> black donkeys <coughs> black birds <coughs> all kinds of snakes Especially black dogs. This is a Muslim saying that to you, not me. So I don't want anyone to accuse me of anything. You will notice that all those bad genies, they are coming to you in a form of a black animals. Actually, black horse, black bird, and endless, endless, you know. Uh, 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 animals anything is black in Islam he is bad he is evil and in here we say to those who they are black African how Muslims they fool you say in Islam don't discriminate ask yourself what is the difference between a blonde dog and a black dog what is the difference between a black cat and a white cat what is the difference between a black horse and a red horse what is the difference between a black donkey and a white donkey why the black is the bad one simply because their prophet he said that to them and this is showing us how racist is Muhammad how racist is Islam always even the snake the black snake is the bad one this is disgusting the black dog is disgusting we have to kill all the black dogs according to Muhammad you're a clever little man little master of the universe but mortals are weak and frail if their stomach speaks, they forget their brain. If their brain speaks, they forget their hearts. And if their hearts speak... <laughs> if their hearts speak, they forget everything! Am I not your master? No longer. You've had your three wishes, and I'm free!